Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the boyfriend is quote unquote out of town. He's back home in Kingsville, which is like 45 minutes away. And he went dove hunting this afternoon with his brother. And now he is fishing with his brother, his sister, and his dad. So when the boyfriend's out of town, what do we do, ladies? We go shopping. So today's video is something a little different than what I normally do. I have not done a haul video before, but I have gotten a few requests that have asked me to do haul videos. But the thing is, I really don't go to the store or any stores really very often and buy just a whole bunch of like stuff or even like online. I don't really like go online and buy just like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff to be like, oh, let me show you what I got. Today's video is a fall decor haul video, which I went to three stores today. Um, I only bought stuff at two. I went to Walmart first and then I went to Home Goods, which Home Goods was the one that I don't mind my busted nail, my fingernail broke. Do you see that? Uh. Anyways, I went to Home Goods next and surprisingly, I saw a lot of stuff that I liked at Home Goods, but surprisingly, I didn't buy anything. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't buy the things that I saw that I liked. Whatever. Then I went to At Home and that's the other store that I got stuff at. So today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all all the fall, like fun decor stuff that I got today. I guess I'll go ahead and start with all my Walmart bags first since I uh, went to Walmart first. I got these two like little pumpkin things and there's like the sunflowers, like little cranberries, uh, like hanging out. I think they're cranberries, like the little cranberry looking things, right? I'm planning on putting these like on my fireplace. I have like the fireplace and the mantle. I thought these would be cute. I have them um, like one on each side type of thing. I thought these were cute. I bought these each for less than $5. They're $4.98 each. So I thought these were super cute, nice little finds. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, like I said, put these on my mantle. Next up, next thing that I bought was another cute, like, little, a lot of this stuff is, like, pumpkin-y, as you can tell, because, of course, it's fall decor. So, I got this, too. It's a, the other ones are, like, a plasticky kind of styrofoam-y material, and I think it's super cute because it also has, like, the lid, like, as if the stuff is, like, coming out of the pumpkin. thought it was super cute with the sunflowers and some more, like, little cranberry things, some fall leaves. Um, here's the lid all attached to it. This one here I got for, here it is. Is this the tag, price tag on it? This one doesn't have the price tag in the same spot as the other one. This one was $9.98, so this one was a little less than $10. I thought this was super cute. It's going to be going on my mantle as well. Once I get it all, like, situated and stuff, I'll probably put a little clip of it at the end of this video. That way y'all can see the way my mantle looks with everything all put together. I figured I was going to put this on one side of the mantle along with that possibly I don't know there was something else that I had thought that I would have like this on one side and then this other thing on the other side I'm trying to find that other thing it's in one of my bags. oh here it is so I saw this one too that I thought would be really cute on the other side of the mantle Ugh, this little pumpkin guy here this is $14.84 so a little less than 15 bucks and I figured I would have one on this side of the mantle and this one on the other side of the mantle along with the other things that match each other that way you know with me, I have to have things like similar in like size and ratio and stuff. Like I can't have something super little on this side and it doesn't match something really big on this side. So I figured like these are two like good sizes together. Like this works for me. I also got these really pretty wreaths and I bought two of them because my front door is two French doors. So I'm going to put one on each of the doors so that I have a wreath hanging on each door because again with my everything has to be like similar I can't have a wreath on one door and not the other door so if I can get this darn bag off first because see I thought this was really pretty and it has like the acorns against some pumpkins and it's got some burlap um with glitter on them leaves and it's got these other leaves that have glitter on them as well I just thought it was super cute super pretty this one I think they were $19.99 I remember it was less than 20 bucks. So it was around, it was like 1995, 1998 type of thing. So these were, and I bought two of these, like I said, one for each door. And it was funny too, because I went to at home or uh, home goods after that. And I saw some pretty wreaths over there. And I saw the prices of those. And one wreath was like almost $40. I think they were like 36 something. And I was like, <clears throat> I got two for that price, pretty much. So I was pretty happy with my find. So like I said, I got two of these. I'm going to hang them. Also, to hang them, of course, I need a wreath hanger, so I bought two of these as well, and it's pretty, um, what is it, like, brushed oil, bronzed oil, something like that, like, the look of them. So I thought these were pretty, and these were super cheap also. These were, I think, like, $3, and again, at, no, I'm lying, at, at home, they had wreath hangers for, like, $5. I was like, I found a better deal at Walmart for 3 So I got two of these, and of course, I'm just going to hang them like that, and they're going to hang from the door. Super cute, super pretty. So I'm pretty happy about my pretty little wreaths. 
that I bought. And how many more times am I going to say pretty? Oh, also from Walmart, I forgot that I had these little tiny candles. Um, they have these little, they also have the big version of the candles, but I thought these were kind of cool because they're only 99 cents. So I guess in a way, like you smell a candle, you're like, oh, that smells good. But then you get it home and you burn it and you're like, I don't like it anymore. And then you waste like five, six dollars on a candle that you're not going to lit, that you're not going to light again. They're just the Walmart brand, the mainstays. So, and they're really cute. It's only a three ounce little jar. So I thought these are pretty cool, like little sample candles. I guess you could say they're 99 cents. You can light them up in your home, decide if you like them. And if you do, then you can go back and get the bigger ones. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this one. This one is apple pumpkin. Oh, child, I love apple stuff and I love, kinda love pumpkin stuff. And then I got this one too, which is cranberry mandarin. It's not a fall scent. It's more of like a fruity summer scent, but it was still really good though. So and I don't remember if I saw a bigger candle in this version or not, but I thought it smelled really good. So I was like, I'm gonna try the little ones, see how I like them. Cause a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, like 50, 50 times, um, 50, 50 times, who says that? I'll like a scent and David likes a scent and there's another candle that I'll pick up and like mm, he'll like this one and I show it to him and he's like oh no and I'm like what I'm like it smells so good I'm like we agreed on the last one how do you not agree with me on this one so I guess that's another reason why I kind of wanted to buy these little ones was to see if he agrees <sighs> if we should have these lit in the house because <sighs> if not then he's gonna complain the whole time about he doesn't like the way they smell yada yada whatever I can try out the candles see if we both like them and if so then I'm gonna go back and get the bigger ones I got a few other random things from Walmart too, but it was like a memory card, I got like some dry shampoo, I got a new shower head for my guest bathroom, or like the bathroom that David's boys use, like the guest bathroom. Uh, I also got... Oh, I got a new blush because my old blush broke and they didn't have the same color, that one was sold out, so I got some other one that was like peach something. Uh, which it actually, now that I actually got it home and I look at it, it's not very peachy, it's actually more like a, not deep pink, but uh, I don't know, just a pinker kind of color than I was wanting it to be, but it's alright. So that was from Walmart, I believe my total was like 124-ish, and the funny thing is I think my total from at home was also around 124-ish, and that's because a lot of, well I don't know if it was a lot of, but I was thinking my total was going to be more than just that. And the girl was telling me that like some of the stuff that I didn't even know was on sale was on sale. So I'm going to, I was actually just about to give something away. My rug here, my little mat, she told me that these were on sale. And I didn't know that it was. I just saw it and I was like, this is so cute. Look how cute this is. My boo. I'm going to put it in my kitchen in front of my stove because I still have a mat that says happy spring. Because I don't have a summer mat. <laughs> And I don't think I have a fall mat either. I thought this one was super cute. And like I said, when I got to the register, the girl had told me that it was like whatever percentage off. I think she just said 40 or 50% off. So originally it says that it was, it had to have been 40 then I guess. Maybe not even. Yes, 40 because math, duh. $10.99 or $10.999. When I got to the register, she told me it was only $6. So yeah, duh, that's 40%. Pretty big mat too. Let me, what size is this? 24 by 36 inch. So it's a good little mat for my kitchen. Like I said, I'll put it right in front of my stove. I think it's super cute. Different pumpkin designs. Love it. Love it, love it. I just noticed when I went to Walmart, I bought more like fall stuff. When I went to at home, I got more like Halloween stuff. I also got this cute little pumpkin set. It's supposed to, you plug it in and it lights up somehow, but I don't know where the lights are because looking inside, I don't know if it's just dark, but looking inside, I don't see. Oh, just kidding, there's the light right there. I guess, is that it? There's just one single light and that's it. There's just one single light in the center. So I guess only the middle pumpkin lights up. I didn't realize that when I bought it, but it's still really cute though. I don't have to light it up. I can have it just like this sitting on not my mantle, not really the fireplace, but like my fireplace has like the little step up thing and then like there's a fireplace in there like that so I can put it on like the little step part here like that. So I'll probably do that with this one. White pumpkins, it goes with like the color scheme that I'm going for, that I'm trying to go for in my living room because I still have absolutely nothing decorated in my living room even though we've lived here for almost a year now. I still haven't really decorated my living room. I probably should do that. That's why I'm slowly starting to like decorate now. Like I said, I didn't realize it, but everything that I bought was more Halloween-ish. It says the, the Winking Witches uh, Potions and Spells, Volume 1. And it looks like a book. Like here's like the binder or the spine of the book. And it even has like the faux pages here. And then you open it up and you can like store stuff inside of it. This. 
I just hit Julie. <laughs> I figured I would either put this again either on the mantle somewhere or um, on the like little brick step that I have. And this shows that it was $19.99. What? Oh, how cute. Has a little October 31st there. Whether or not this was on sale, I don't know. But I thought it was just super cute. And I was like, I want this for my fireplace. So I got it. Am I going to put anything in it? Probably not. I just thought it was cute. And I wanted it. So I got it. I also got this cute little towel from at home. This one was shows it was $3.99. It has more of a satin thread for the two pumpkins. And then this, like the gold that it's lined with, this is more of like a shimmery, um, a shimmery thread. I thought that was super cute. Hang it from my my uh, oven door. I always like to do that because, you know, you grew up with that. My grandma did it. My mama did it. I actually bought some towels for my mama. I do it too. Last but not least from at home, I also got... I hope y'all can hear me. That was kind of loud. I said, last but not least, from at home, I got little candle holders that I thought were really pretty. And again, they're like that bronzed oil or brushed oil, whatever the color it is. I got two of these kind of... Wait, are these the taller ones? No, these are the shorter ones. I got two of these little shorter ones. And I got another one or two more that are a little bit taller. I'm going to stop talking for a second so I can get these out of the paper. Oh, it's chipped! Am I freaking serious? I just realized that this one's chipped, guys. How did I not notice this in the store? <gasps> well, either I could take it back or I could just face that to the back. I don't know. Anyway, so I got two of these also. Two shorter ones, two taller ones. And I got these little candles that have like a little leaf on them. Put them on top. I'm going to put these on my mantle somewhere as well. And so I got two of these candles that I'm going to have like so and then because i have two other of those pumpkin spice that's pretty nice like i said i kind of like pumpkin stuff kind of like i'm iffy about it like it i don't know it just it depends on it whatever they had the shorter ones but they didn't have another one there was only one shorter one so like you know what i'm gonna get a big one i'm gonna cut it in half so but then i thought i was like well i could have but i don't know i don't like the way this looks like I don't like I don't, I don't know I just feel like this is too much so I'm gonna cut it in half have the candle about that size and put the other half on the other one so that and that's because that's the short one can you imagine like tall tall like to me this just kind of this looks awkward I don't know does, does this look awkward to y'all I feel like it just it looks awkward so cut it in half have the candle about that size good to go mixed with like yes much better. So I'm cutting this candle in half. Because they didn't have another one that size. They didn't have another one the short size. You make do with what you got. That was super loud. The shorter ones here were $6.99. And the taller ones here were $9.99. The candles here, this one shows that it was $7.99. And these here were $6.99 as well. And also I think these are like the, the fake ones that you can like click. Because inside you can see it's already like... Ooh, and they smell good too. Even though they're fake, they have a scent to them. Is the smell, the smell reminds me of Hobby Lobby. When you walk into Hobby Lobby, that's what these candles smell like. <sighs> but there's like the little fake wick on the inside, which I'm guessing is probably like the light, but I don't see like a little switch anywhere unless it's like underneath this little part right here, which it probably is. I just need to, I need to find it. I don't know, okay. Oh yeah, I see it. I see like a little switch right here. But, okay, that concludes my fall decor haul, or for the moment, that concludes today's trip of the things that I have bought. Um, I hope it's not too boring of a video, because like I said, I've never done a haul before, and I feel like, I don't know, like, is that it? Like, that's all the stuff that you got? Like, you don't have anything else to purchase? You don't have anything else to buy or to show? No, no, I don't. That's it. So... Um, I really didn't get a whole lot of stuff, so I'm probably going to end up going back to Home Goods and buying some of the things that I liked. They, they had some really cute, oh my gosh, it was, oh no, these were at, at home. There was a, it was like a big witch's cauldron, and there was like orange bubbles, but they were like pretty. It was like a creamy and orange, like iridescent-y kind of like bubbles like coming out of it, and then it was like on like some witch feet. It was so cute, and it was like 60 bucks. But I was like, well, if I buy that, where am I going to put it? And they had, like, these huge, like, stacked pumpkins. So cute. And that's because each pumpkin was colored or painted, like, a different color, which I thought was super cute. Where am I going to put that? 
there was just, I don't know, there's a bunch of cute stuff there that I was like, eh, where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? I should have just bought it and made myself figure it out once I got it home. But who knows? Like I said, I'm probably going to end up going back to Home Goods and buying some of the other stuff there that I saw that I liked. Um, I really just need more like stuff in my home. Like I said, we've been here for a little over, no, almost a year. We've been living together for almost a little over a year now. I'm getting all tongue tied as usual. We've been living together a little over a year now. We've moved into this par apartment almost a year ago and I still don't have like a lot of furniture in our apartment and I don't have this like a lot of decor things. I'm very indecisive when it comes to stuff like that. Like I'll always like see things like, oh, this is pretty. But I don't know where I'm going to put it, so I'm going to put it back. It's like, no, I need to just buy things that I think are pretty so that I'm forced to put it somewhere when I get home. So that's a big problem that I have. So I'm actually pretty, even though I didn't get a whole lot of things, honestly, I'm kind of pr like proud of myself that I got these things today. Because like I said, I'm, I'm terrible at making decisions. So I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for spending money. But... All right, guys. Um, again, like I said, hopefully my video wasn't too boring. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul video. If y'all would like to see more hauls, like I said, I'm probably going to go back to TJ Maxx later. Whether or not I'm going to get the stuff that I like. Yes, I need to. What up, Ricky? Shut your mouth. You need to buy stuff. You need to buy stuff. So, of course, I'm probably going to do one of these again during Christmas time. Hopefully, if I get the balls to get up and actually buy things again. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, there's a little notification bell down here somewhere. That way y'all get notified anytime that I put new videos up on my channel. And follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. I have everything linked down below. That way you can go ahead and find me. Um, uh, leave some comments down below if you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up. Again, leave some comments down below of other videos that you guys would like to see. Of course, because all my videos are because of you guys. Um, I think that's all I have to say. If you want to stay tuned, I am going to put a little clip at the end of this video to show y'all what I did with the things that I bought today. So I'll see you guys next time and I love y'all so much. And like I said, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Bye. So this is what I have so far. Um, as you can see, I didn't end up cutting that candle after all. I just left a hole because I figured, you know, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, and then I also found this candle that I already had in one of my cabinets in my kitchen. And then these here, I'm not able to turn them on yet because they need batteries. Because why wouldn't they, right? Why didn't I think of these things? So I have that set up like that. And then on here, I have the little book there and I have the pumpkins there. Earlier, I had tried putting the larger pumpkins down here to see how I liked it, and and I'm not sure how I like it. Now, I feel like up here doesn't have enough stuff, where down here, it looks cute. Oh, look at Mama Sophie. Oh, and a Julie. And Mama Julie. Oh, my goodness. So, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if I'm going to leave the pumpkins down there or if I'm going to leave them back up there, but that's what I got out here so far. Over here I have my rug and there's my little um, towel that I have bought in. Those two towels I already had there so don't mind the mismatchiness. Um, this one actually has an owl on the other side of it. That's kind of cute but I don't want like a pumpkin and an owl and then that one kind of just ring. Or maybe I could. <gasps> I know what I could do. That maybe for now. I don't know. So I'm going to try to find some more towels that will go along with my new cute pumpkin towel because this one's old. And I don't know. It's kind of... I guess because of the boo and the pumpkin. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say it doesn't quite go as Halloween-y with the others, but then that's not really Halloween. That is more fall. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So there is that that I have going on as of right now. So coming outside, it's a little dark out here, but this is what I did with my wreaths. As you can see, I have, like I so said, the two French doors. So I want to one on each side. And this is what I got that I'm working with. I like it. I think it's cute. And hi from my shadow. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Ooh, ah.